Hello LEGO friends, Matt from Brooks Bricks here. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at my Orc Military Staging Area. Stay tuned! Welcome back everybody. And in today's video, I'm happy to present a project that's going on for a little bit. I've had fits and starts and delays with it. But I'm finally happy to announce the project is done. One more thing completed in the medieval realm, and that is da da da. This is my orc military staging area, complete with an army and some weapons, and all kinds of figures in a scene here, kind of setting up preparation for battle. So let's take a look at this and see what we got. First, I will know I kind of set a scene here based on where the plate is going to be set. Um, the medieval market place is going to be kind of back here where those trees are. So I've got this wall kind of serving as just kind of a dividing point between this area and then kind of the other area with the orcs and all that stuff. Um, yeah, again, it's not practical. It probably wouldn't be such a stark division between a nice area and then something like this. But again, this is everything in the realm is a diorama of different scenes. And it's not meant to be kind of a holistic, everything is joined seamlessly, as I thought it would be at one point. But yeah, what I've got here, on the one side, just got a group of different trees that I built out. Got my little uh, kind of mock dream spider here hanging out in one tree, <laughs> kind of watching things. Used a few little um, Lego molded trees here as well. This is just to kind of set a different scene in, in the division here, along with the stone wall that was built to kind of separate out that area. But the highlight here, of course, is the army and their weapons. So first off, I do want to show the army in itself. This guy right here, think of him as a commander. He's running, we'll call him an orc dog. <laughs> I was on a Bricklink store looking for all kinds of torsos to use to build kind of an orc army. And I found a little dinosaur here for um, very cheap, so I picked it up along with all the Tauruses I'm using here. So the commander is running the Orc Dog. <laughs> We've got a bunch of different kinds of Orcs here. Outfitted with various armor and weapons of various sorts. Um, I've got a few of the CMF Series 24 Orc figures in the next to the Evil Wizard Castle. This is kind of a an additional army to supplement those guys, thinking of them as kind of like the lead, um, the main folks, of the main orcs in the, in the group, and then these guys are kind of the, the, the army, the ground figures leading the charge. You can see they've got a couple of, um, a couple of uh, arrows here, but, uh, battalion type arrows. A couple different mocks I built based on some stuff I saw through like Rebrickable and other images. And I think they work pretty well. A couple different ways of doing it. I like this one in particular with the design and the horns and all that. I think that works really well. So the idea is they'll be kind of pulling those along too and using those for shooting at things. I'm really, really happy with a couple of the things I have back here. So this right here is a battering ram. I built this over the course of a couple streams. This was inspired by a couple builds that I saw online. My favorite part of this, as you can see, is it works. <laughs> it actually will take things down and it will move. Got a couple of additional weapons attached to the sides here. Um, I gave it a little bit more of an intimidating kind of head on the battering ram, just because the, the cheese slips I had in there at first, I didn't think were intimidating enough. This will do more damage, I think. And I gave it just a kind of look of a couple of horns up there for a look and feel. You can see it's based on four um, Technic arms here. And they do a pretty good job of creating that movement. So I'm really, really happy with that. The base is really simple on four basic wheels. And it works. See, I can uh, knock myself over here. See, there you go. <laughs> the other part that I built recently was this right here. This is a catapult. It doesn't have a play feature per se, but the idea is you would put things like these little these little bobs or whatever on here, and, you know, and they would catapult those things over a wall or something 
like into the Line Knight Castle or whatever they might be attacking, for example. Um, folks were asking about whether I was going to do a trebuchet. A trebuchet did cross my mind, but when you look at um, what a trebuchet is, and even looking at Lego trebuchets people have done, they are massive. And for the scene that I was going for, it would not work. I wanted this to be more mobile. And I think with what this is, again, taking it from a couple designs I saw online, I think this works really well. It gives the impression of what it is. Um, this actually does unhook, and you can kind of pretend that when they put something on here and they hit a lever, that this will go flying up to shoot something. So that does work. And then it attaches here and kind of hold it on. I've got another figure here, kind of the lead for the catapult. That figure is actually the executioner from the Harry Potter line. I thought he was a cool figure. And I wanted to get him to kind of be the lead on this. And you can see I decorated it with a couple more pieces I had just to give it a lot more intimidation factor. Again, very simple base build here, but it works and I'm really happy with it. So there's that too. And then we've got the troll that I've had hanging around for quite a while um, to push these things. <laughs> but yeah, I've got quite the scene set up here. It is gonna go into my medieval realm. And hopefully with my next update, you will see this in place um, in front of the Evil Wizard Tower and around the market and all that stuff. So you'll see it kind of more in situ and how it looks there. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it's uh, the weapons in particular. I love them. The army is fun. A lot of diversity there. <laughs> and for now, that's going to do it for this mock review of my Orc military staging area and weapons and the Orc army itself. I'm Again, really happy with this. Had a lot of great fun building this over the course of a few live streams. I do want to thank my friend Clipsy's Bricks um, for the ideas for doing the battering ram and the catapult in particular. He kind of helped spur me out again when I kind of ran a grind with a few ideas. So thank you to Clipsy for that. And again, reminder that I build things like this and all my other great mock work and sets over on Twitch at Brooks Bricks. I do those weekly live streams at least a couple times a week. And I have started our simulcasting over on YouTube again as well, so you can catch me sometimes here on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed here, hit that like button, notification bell, come right up below, all that great stuff. Thank you for watching. Have a great one until next time. See you later.